What's up guys, I'm Rhea. This is AFK, brought to you by RBC. Picture this, you're on a date, maybe it's a first date, and that awkward moment happens when the check is dropped at the table. Suddenly, it's a test of agility for who can grab the bill first, or maybe it's the dance of, no, I insist, let me pay, or one person assumes the other will pay, and vice versa. Either way, this scenario can be really, really awkward. But why? Because there's no rule book for how to navigate the often tricky landscape of love and money, and there's no one size fits all. So what? are the ways we can approach these awkward conversations? And how honest should we be about the debt we bring into a relationship? But for real, when it comes to exposing our financial selves to another person, it's not just about how much of it or how little of it we have. It's our history with money, it's our spending habits, it's about saving, it's about our financial aspirations, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And it's no surprise that how we go about discussing our finances with our significant other is informed by, drum roll please, how we were raised. Sometimes this includes the culture of our parents or where we're from. This could look like not discussing it at all. This hush-hush mentality around money usually doesn't fly in relationships, especially long-term ones. The impact money has on our love lives has been studied at length, and the data really speaks for itself. And what was cited as the most common drivers of these arguments? Someone making a big financial decision without consulting their partner first, or spending a lot of money on something that their partner considers to be frivolous. Throwing back to our lovely first date scenario at the top of the episode, how do couples decide who pays? Or should it always be splitsies? Or maybe there's a cultural expectation on how this should go? Again, there's really no perfect answer here. So the dinner check dance continues on. And now for a debate that's a little more complicated than paying for dinner, debt. Bringing a pile of debt with you into a relationship can feel like the heaviest form of baggage. But for many of us out here hustling, it's something that needs to be chipped away at and isn't totally disappearing anytime soon. Do we fess up about our financial woes when we're settling into an exciting new relationship? Or do we keep it quiet so we don't distract from the honeymoon phase? And when we find ourselves sharing our lives with someone completely, which could look like sharing a home or even getting married, we become faced with the question, to combine bank accounts or to not combine bank accounts. Sharing a bank account might feel like the most intimate form of coupledom imaginable. And for some of us, it might be a little too intimate. Now that we've got the lay of the land, it's pretty clear that navigating the world of love and money is highly personal and cultural. And figuring out what works best for you and your partner is the best way to find smoother financial sailing. Our biggest piece of advice, start talking. The only way to make progress with your partner when it comes to finances is to just talk openly about it. This could include your financial goals, spending habits, expectations, and personal views about all things money. And be open to your partner's potential differing views. Know Me in the RBC mobile app can provide you with tips and insights based on your spending behavior. You could even use this to compare your partner's spending behavior. Sounds sexy, right? And if you're able to establish an open, honest flow of communication surrounding dollars, that could pave the way to digging into the nitty gritty of budgeting and saving together, and potentially the bank account merge conversation. Look, we get it. It's intimidating as if the world of dating and love isn't hard enough to navigate sometimes. But as we say time and time again on Level Up, keeping your receipts and talking openly and honestly about your financial situation always leads to stronger money moves, whether you're single or coupled up. Good luck out there.